hey, guess what? Time we all do the tango with uh, the spirit of prophecy, spirit of love, and love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. And uh, it's a small world after all, but Mickey and Minnie are both in agreement. They're tired. They would tell you that. They are tired of it being a, a small world of fear and uh, wasted fears and tears and festering fears. We got to get over it. The veil has been pulled. It's time to agree to disagree. And it's time to do so with the motive of love and let love soar upon eagle's wings and as that happens new realities set in there are um, uh, uh, things mutual to different religions and yet people want to argue about it in between them a good example is karma of the eastern philosophies it's the same thing as sowing what you reap uh, the fundamental Protestant uh, would teach. And that's where I came from, Pentecostal, charismatic, fundamentalist. And now I have become the messenger of the Latter-day Covenant that is written for the Latter Days. And all the prophecy teachers out there are totally ignoring the Prince of Peace who is roaring louder than ever before. And they're discounting everything that I say. And yet I have the only truth on planet Earth that would bring peace between the peoples. There is no darkness but ignorance alone. And the gross darkness of Isaiah 60 has been the darkness that I have been preaching. But praise the Lord, free at last, free at last. The son of righteousness, the son of love, our majesty of majesties has arisen in the splendor of his majesty upon a great white cloud. Like he said of Matthew 24, the great white cloud of Revelation 14, like the spirit of prophecy said. And he has given his everlasting gospel into the world and sunk it into the world for the harvest, as he said. And the wheat and the tares must not grow together, as he said. And he is the ascender of the messenger, as he said in uh, Matthew 17, 11. Uh, he said that his Elijah would restore all things. I am his latter-day Daniel, uh, Daniel 12, 13. And the shattering of the power of the holy people has come. The canons must open of uh, the Abrahamic religions. Um, because God's word has opened anew, Daniel 12, 9. It says... It says uh, in Daniel 12, 9, that it was only closed until the time of the end. Had to open because the, you see, there's been an error in history. The error in history has caused nothing but desolate heritages, uh, Isaiah 49, 8, which has happened. And uh, the truth is, people, we got to skip ahead past the error because uh, in the end, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our good shepherd arising over all the flocks of men. He said that he would be the good shepherd over everyone. He's never been there for the uh, Messiah, Jesus of uh, Christianity, foolishness. He's never been Isa, the uh, Messiah of uh, Islam, utter uh, insanity. He's never been Yeshua, the Messiah of uh, Judaism craziness. He's always been Emmanuel, God in the flesh over all the flocks of man. All religion is wrong. All religion is, is tainted. All religion is really crooked and misunderstood. So God has said in Malachi 3.1 that the messenger that would prepare his way would be by his message. The messenger of his covenant of uh, the, the prophecy of Hebrews 8. All uh, faith on earth is now obsolete, just as Paul foretold, because these are the days of Romans 11. The fullness of the time of the Gentiles has come, and all Israel is saved because of the covenant. What covenant? The one that makes them inherit all mankind, Isaiah 54. Nail in the coffin right there, George, Revelation and time. These people out here are hearing me. Gray Smith, he's heard me. Uh, a lot of them have heard me, Patricia King, uh, Mel Bond, 
uh, Jimmy Swaggart, people from there, uh, Rex Zeller, Van Empey, she's heard. And uh, no one is saying a mumbling word. And that was foretold. Isaiah 41, the messenger would come to Jerusalem and give the Jerusalem Zion the message that they have now inherited all mankind. The message that in these latter days of Jeremiah 30, 24 and 31, 1, God is saying, I am now the God of Israel and all families of Israel, all. And he proclaims, and all shall know me from the least to the greatest throughout his everlasting covenant. And it has been all over all mankind, all, or he would be a liar. So his word has always been misunderstood. Born again has never been to believe, squat, to always been to keep your love light on. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. First John 4, 7, Jesus said, and you see, I get no comments at my uh, uh, station because I am actually telling you what the Bible actually says. And in the end, God foretold all of this that I am telling you. I am the alcoholic of uh, Genesis 49, 12. And it was prophesied in the latter days that uh, two new Billy Grahams would arise by Kim Clement who's in glory. And it was prophesied by Sir Isaac Newton that the Eliza task ministry, a couple of people would be standing up and they would insist on their literal interpretation of Bible prophecy amidst much clamor and opposition. But people, if things are as what I'm saying, that there has been an error, what happened, early Christian says, we are Israel and all mankind, and they weren't. There was a switch. And then they said, and the prophecy is fulfilled now. And it wasn't. It was always for the latter days. It says so, Jeremiah 30, 24. See, I'm telling you what the Bible actually says. So the spirit of love, that's been the mystery of God. Those who walk with the spirit are under no condemnation. That just simply means to have your love light on. So this is the channel of the broken uh, candlestick. Uh, a sign over this ministry is a simple $2 candlestick made in uh, China. There are batteries in there, but the only way to turn on that light is click on, click off. It's been broken for a couple months, and today it's due to go off at 6.58. It turns itself on, turns itself off. It's off all day. That is the, the, the foretold sign over the end time ministry and that is found in Zechariah 3 4 and 5 Zechariah 3 God picks someone that Satan already had an incorrigible a guy sniffing glue with the bag of glue glued to my face and then the God uh, lights one he lights the power of one candlestick for two uh, my younger sister Trudy and I both have the candlestick miraculous background where God actually lit a lamp for us for seven uh, minutes each individual at a different time. And my other sister Cheryl too. All three of us, this, uh, God was proving that he could supply a miracle where it seemed like none was possible. Um, but people are not listening to no truth here. So if you, it's time for the wheat uh, to leave the terrors. It's time for those who will not believe me to leave everybody who's preaching anything other than the truth of prophecy. The prophecy that uh, Israel has now inherited all mankind and that we have a desolate heritage. Well, get over it. In these days, God is showing his mercy. Jonah 3, 4 told that God relented and destroyed not Nineveh after he says, you're toast buddies. But they relented, God relented and changed his mind, precedent set. And in the latter days, it says this, people, Jeremiah 30, 24. In uh, Jeremiah 31, uh, in chapter 32, 27, I am the Lord God of all mankind. And nothing has changed when the seven trumpet sounded of the book of Revelation. And it sounded first because the first is last and the last is first. And if you read what happens when the, uh, when the seven trumpets sounded, all nations became the Lord, so they've always been his.
the mystery of God has been the depth of his love, pure and simple. For those knowing that he, our good shepherd was the lamb slain before the foundation of the earth for all mankind, the atonement over all mankind, because the redemption has always been for all. And so now he says unto one and all of us, all through our out history, and uh, all this applies for all of our fathers, so that the hearts of the fathers can turn to the children, children to the fathers. And this applies to my parents and to your parents if they're gone into glory. Because God says this, I shall be your God of Israel and all mankind, because it, it was to all mankind. I, I have the correct uh, understanding. And so he says, I will be your God. You will all be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity and I shall never remember it, says the Lord God. And uh, none shall need to be taught of me anymore for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And I shall write my law and my love on all hearts. And then it's over. Religion is done. Muhammad said the same thing in the Hadith. He said the day was coming. There'd be nothing left of the Quran except its outward form. And his people would belong to another. It sounds like Islam. This is Islam, people. Isaiah 62, 2. That is the name that God has given Israel after they have received their kingdom age new covenant that he did never give. I challenge any Bible author, writer, uh, teacher, minister out there personally leave me a message and all you learned uh, Pharisees out there of all Abrahamic religions I address you personally it is time to beat the sword into the sickle of Amos 9 he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper and uh, Trudy and I have been in spirit the two Billy Grahams that have stood uh, 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 for the whole earth and uh, people, I challenge you, tell me in what ch uh, chapter and verse, if any of you can, and none of you will ever be able to accomplish this. It's impossible what I'm asking. I'm gonna ask it anyways, because you think you know, and none of you do. So here it is, and all of the, uh, the earth shall realize I am right. It is foretold that when the messenger comes, Isaiah 41, that all Israel would not be saying a mumbling word, and I'm not getting a mumbling word from nobody nowhere. But I challenge all you learned uh, Bible teachers to tell me when the Lord gave the uh, new covenant that Christianity has wrongly been standing on, incorrectly, all twisted up, uh, mangled, as a matter of fact. Because, you see, Maybe that's for another video, but maybe not. You know what the bottom line is? Christians get saved. Yep, now we're saved everlastingly forever. But the problem is that's only half of everlasting is everlasting forever. Everlasting is everlasting past too. That's everlasting. So his everlasting covenant, and it says that's what it is. He never gave it. He never gave it. And that is the message of Malachi 3. One, the messenger is the one who gives. Jesus is not the messenger of the covenant, Malachi 3.1. He is the sender of his covenant. It is his word. He is the author. He is the sender. He is the mediator. And when it has come, all Israel inherits all mankind, Isaiah 54. So we're at an impasse, Mexican impasse. Uh, people of the world cannot respond to truth. And they're totally ignoring everything. I could go on and on and on. But um, Isaiah 41 says that all the world will realize that I am right. Because this has been preached from the beginning of Genesis 49, 12. It predicted an alcoholic and a drug smoker would come. Uh, one who was sniffing glue. And it predicted Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, whose eyes would be red and dull of wine. That's what you get when you smoke a little hashish and weed and uh, you, you have some whiskey. So I'm trying to be a good boy out here, but I am the alcoholic of Habakkuk to King James. 
um, all of creation has been groaning for the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. And that comes now in the, these days. We are angels in the flesh. The glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former, and the first are last, and the last are first. We have been created higher than the angels, and Satan has been removed now for 1,000 years because God would have been made into a liar by Satan who has going before the Lord day and night as the accuser of the brethren accusing us. He would force God to lie and force him to remember our sin even after he says, and I will be your God, I will forgive all your iniquity and never remember it again. Those are God's words. If he remembered our sin to judge us, he would be a liar, people. There is no other explanation for this. So I challenge all of you good people, learn it. I don't care how learned you are. Um, I invite Rexella. Please, Rexella, call me, 226-975-0707. This has been veiled from Jack, Dan Empey. And it has always been the truest truth. So let the term karma bring forth a reincarnation of fate's uh, destiny to find all men rejecting not only all useless thoughts uh, of twisted understandings of the spirit of prophecy, which has been the only revelation of the Lord's love, but all wasted energy uh, that comes from lack of knowledge. God's people have always been destroyed for their lack of knowledge, uh, Hosea 4, 6. And there is no darkness, no but uh, ignorance alone. And there is no ignorance but darkness alone. But praise God in the latter days that is promised that we shall be able to shine as the stars that we were created to be in the days of the latter day Daniel who comes forth standing in the latter days. The, the, because the kingdom age covenant comes, the messenger. Uh, so from the land of India, and this is the message to the east, let the Veda, Vedas evermore be seen in light that not, is not nearly as strong as God's light because he is love and all those who love are born of God and know God because God is love for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten love so whosoever should love should not perish but have everlasting love everlasting life 657 and uh, praise God every four days it counts down it's been doing that methodically for uh two months. It started at, um, I believe, 7.13, did that for four days, then 7.12 for four days. But, uh, so praise God that even the earliest Hindus uh, correctly saw that our Supreme One transcends all things. And uh, uh, these are the days where it is clear that our righteousness has always been as filthy rags. All of our understandings have been based on what we do for God, not what he has done for us. That is the important thing because he promises each and every one of us a et eternal life and is nothing that we have to do to have it. We all inherit that as long as we keep our love alive. And uh, Jesus warned about that because that is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And uh, if we let that light of love go out, simply because we need that light of God's love within us to shine our way everlastingly because it's his light of love uh, that would be our life force. So it's time to come into new understandings of knowledge. Uh, it is written in the word in Isaiah 45 that concerning things of the future, says the Lord God, of, and the work of my hands, command ye me, and I did. And next thing I knew, I was writing by a lamp for for uh, seven, eight minutes that was never plugged in, three, four feet away from the, the, the floor. So let there be new mantras of love's divinity to come forth. And praise God uh, for, uh, uh, for the leader, the Tibetan leader, uh, you know his name. And uh, praise God, he, he says that uh, he says that only the, the, the religion of love could flourish in this world. And here it is. And there's nothing that we have to do except have our love to be stirred up. 
because it's time to leave the land of the walking dead. If our love has waxed cold, and if our love is not in motion, it has become a verb. And if it has become a verb, or it has become a noun, sorry, I'm wixing my merge. Wixing those merge. So it becomes a noun, it becomes just a thing. It's, it's not in motion, it's dying, it's dead. It makes us part of the walking dead. And if it's not going forward, Rongo Bongo, it's, we're on the road to committing blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, inviting the time to come where we will get so hard-hearted that there won't be no, nothing but bitterness and unforgiveness and hatred left in us. So praise God, free at last, free at last. If we are going to be free at last, we got to let that little light shine. And praise God that it's the light of love. And that is what needs to be over all of us, is, is his love. He is our majesty of majesties, people. He is our hero of heroes, our all in all. So let us follow uh, his path and... Uh, um, so it's far, it's far sharper than any two-edged sword, his love, and only his sickle of Amos 9 has been sharp enough for the harvest of God, and it is written. And um, so uh, his word of love discourages not people from his way of glory, uh, even though it be difficult for us to follow. He encourages us all because he's lighting our way of love within us, that Prince of Peace. Uh, and uh, he is their strength who diminishes not. He becomes their light that fades not. And he becomes their word of God, living word, living waters that are rising and arising day after day. And he is uh, the one who will never quit speaking unto those daring to obediently keep listening to his spirit of love. And a mighty ocean of his adoration has now been poured out upon all mankind, and it cannot go back uh, into heaven's floodgates because heaven has poured it out, and this message is here. For uh, praise God for all the anointed ones, ones who will walk with him in the way of love, um, because he offers the only true way of love and peace. Uh, and it does not matter whether people believe he is uh, divine or not, because we are all divine. We are angels in the flesh, and God in the flesh came to a planet of angels in the flesh. He is Emmanuel, God of all, not the Messiah of Christianity, not the Messiah of Islam, not the Messiah of Judaism, the Messiah of the atheist, the Messiah of the homosexual, the Messiah of the agnostic, the Messiah of the revealed law lawless one, more official of, of YouTube. Look them up. Um, keep your friends close, your enemies close, your people. Um, Revelation 3 foretold the, the lawless one would die by a sword and be resurrected before he could become the Antichrist. It's a, it's, he's off the freak show. He's a sword swallower who just keep swallowing his... Check him out, man. Uh, he's exponential. He's got over a million Facebook followers. He's growing like hell. And he's got the 666 right on the wall. And it was foretold that before Jesus came, that the Antichrist wannabe would be uh, revealed in the book of Thessalonians. So a prophecy has been fulfilled, and yet there is no one talking about nothing that I'm saying. Uh, you want to know who the uh, uh, false prophet is of Revelation 13? That verse says that he would call down fire in front of multitudes. There's only one man in the world that has done that on several occasions, Dr. David Auer, O-W-U-O-U-R, of uh, Repent and prepare the way, the false Elijah uh, of this world. There are only two contenders for the Elijah task ahead, and that has been my sister and myself and uh, that uh, false uh, Elijah. He claims that the two witnesses fell out of heaven, and now he is the two witnesses, that guy. Uh, he's doubling on the camera, in other words, going in and out of focus. Yeah, that's uh, he's become both. Uh, that, that whole two witness thing is not the same prophecy of Zechariah for the, the one candlestick is not the two olive trees. In Revelation 11, the two candlesticks 
is the two olive trees. The fullness of God is there because that would be Elijah and Moses. He claims that that is him. <laughs> that is the erasable future of Malachi 4 6. It is fully erasable, provably, by uh, uh, Jonah 3. God did relent and changed his mind. And again, he is saying, Jeremiah 30, 24, resounding in the latter days, just as it is written, people, the voice of the Lord, the word of God is open, and he's saying, I, thus saith the Lord, he says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if you give me the desire of my heart that I prayed for in Gethsemane, the oneness and brotherhood of love arising. These are the days of the trial of uh, all flesh, Revelation 3, which has been uh, COVID. And in these days, God's word of patience has come to keep people from the hour of the temptation not to change. For it is our destiny, Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, predicts that in the latter days a latter day mountain would arise people there's never been uh, any mountain that's ever arisen in uh, modern history since we've ever kept historical books that's purely metaphoric upon this mountain foretold in isaiah 54 is the the marriage supper of the land your food has gone rancid people of religion and God says in Malachi 2, if you do not embrace these truths and lift up kingdom age peace and kingdom age love and God's word to the world, I will take your shit and your dung from your feasts and I'm going to rub it in your faces. Behold the messenger that prepares the way before the Lord. All the creation has been groaning with great expectation. The vision was appointed for the time at the end, and God said it would come, people, no matter what. Though it tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come at the end. Great was the assurance of his alcoholic Shiloh, foretold from the beginning, Genesis 49, 12. His alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, his uh, incorrigible alcoholic of Zechariah 3. Read it, Satan. God picks out uh, an incorrigible, a glue sniffer, and says, "Satan, you got this guy, right?" <laughs> and uh, so Satan, uh, he picked me while I was uh, like like that. Satan could not uh, argue with uh, the Lord over his pick. Is this incorrigible enough for you, Satan? <laughs> But let the news of man's uh, inheritance of their salvation now arise because Israel has inherited all mankind, period. End of story, Isaiah 54, religion is over. Hebrews 8, it's all desolate heritages. And uh, people like uh, George of Revelation in time will just simply hope that this channel goes away. But no one can refute anything I'm saying because it is predicted in the end when Elijah task servant, the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, same guy as uh, uh, Shiloh, same guy as Joshua, Zechariah 3, same guy as the latter day Daniel. It's all the same guy, water, steam, and ice, uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all love. And it's, it's stupid to keep arguing about stupidity. And uh, because uh, our uh, Muhammad said that this would happen at the end because uh, the distortions would be cleared away at the end. And he has been right. So that we can understand exactly who we are, why we have been, and how irrelevant it has been. Our false understandings of this or that uh, of prophecy has never made any difference because it has always been what he has done for us and not what he, we have done for him. He is the one who is the way. Uh, he's the one who dead ends not. He's the treasure of man. So it's time to leave the safety of the shores and go out to the deep. That is where your heart should be. He is our treasure of excellence. He is our excellence of treasure. And it's time to come with me. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Jesus said in Matthew 24, speaking of his latter day Daniel the covenant messenger of Malachi 3.1. It is he alone 
our hero of heroes, our carpenter of the ages, Adonai, our ancient of days. He, it is he whose pricelessness can never cease, and uh, he is the voice of God who speaks not another way of salvation other than that which came forth from his own hand. Consequently, great has been the vivid imagination of a great multitude of souls who have called on mere men and the shallow wisdom thereof. Repentance is a gift. Love is a gift. And we can spit that up, chew it up, and spit love back in God's face as we walk the road of perishing. But the bottom line is, people, line upon line, precept upon precept, is what I have been reading. That was predicted in... Uh, Isaiah 28, Moses foretold Deuteronomy 18, 18, one like him coming forth. I am the one calling for the great exodus of all the wheat in the world to leave all the terrors. I am the giver of the kingdom age covenant, uh, the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, who shall cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word flows anew, Daniel 12, 9, as it was foretold, because it was only foretold to be closed until the end. And a writer. God never does anything unless he sends a writer. The everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 comes by a writer. It's the very first video under this channel. Uh, listen to it. Sounds just like Moses. First video under this channel. Not hard to go there. Just right up at the top. Click uh, oldest to young, oldest to latest video, and it'll go right to the first video. Challenge me, because. I'm connecting it all too well, people. A writer was foretold in Habakkuk. The vision is plainly written on the tablets so that all those who readeth it may run. And this is about love. Because at the end of the day, if you guys will not listen to me, this earth shall be destroyed. Isaiah 24, the earth will be in three, four pieces. Zephaniah 1, 1, uh, there will be no fish, no mankind, and no birds left on planet earth. Total, utter destruction, Malachi 4, 6. Jesus said that unless his word came forth anew, uh, Malachi, or Matthew 24, 22, that unless the former age was cut short of grace by his word, his message, that he is sending, that no flesh could be saved. Malachi 4.6, if you won't believe that, and you won't believe Zephaniah 1, you won't believe Matthew 24.22, you won't believe Moses, you won't believe, uh, why should the hell should you believe Elijah, the third one? The, the first one is still coming, people. If you won't listen to me, you'll listen to the third one. He's returning. That's the erasable future. But if you want that future, good luck for you.